I think I've always been a creative person. Even when I was a kid, I, I never thought I would be an artist, but I was always crafting. And so I think it was just the easiest way for me to express myself. There's two main projects happening right now. Uh, the first one is the Nacho Calder. So they have a Calder here uh, at the Eamon Carter. The moment I saw it, it was a bunch of triangles. And I just started laughing and I said, this looks like a bunch of nachos hanging, on the, hanging from the ceiling. I need to recreate a Calder as nachos. There's this really interesting gallery here at the Carter that's kind of a transition between the old museum and the new part of the museum, and it's a slanted gallery. Thought it would be a perfect space for one of my big pinata murals. I looked through the entire collection. We found these amazing lithographs by the artist Casimiro Castro from the 1800s. Uh, that he made for the Mexican railway through these like really exoticized images of like bridges, puentes, uh, with all this beautiful flora and fauna all around it. It being pinata paper, um, I wanted it to conceptually tie to, you know, Latin American identity or history. When I saw those, I said, this is it. So the walls are lined with paper. The next step is to take the images. So I'm taking about four of uh, Castro's original uh, lithographs and kind of collaging them together. And then from there, I project those onto uh, paper and do this basically a color by number. This is uh, a lot of greenery in this. So these are a bunch of bushes and trees. We have all of our ingredients for the calder, which are the nacho chips, the cheese, lettuce, tomato. Um, so now I'm finally getting to the wire. We get all the tissue paper, and this is actually gonna be the most colorful one that I do. I think we have around over 40 colors. Okay. We cut it up into fringe, all the tissue paper, and then kind of just build it from the bottom up. because of the shapes of these blobs. It's almost like you're laying down brick. You have to lay it down in a certain order so that the image will actually appear in the tissue paper. I knew that if I made art about my identity, that that's all my work was gonna be about after that. And then finally I said, why am I doing that? This is not me, I wanna, I wanna tell stories, I want to share my experience, uh, make art about my family, about my upbringing, 
And so that's when I, the, the first piece that I ever made regarding my identity was a piñata. After that, I said, all right, I made my identity piece. This is the piñata that represents my culture. That's it. I'm not going to make any more piñatas. I got it out of my system. And 10 years later, 12 years later, <laughs> here I am still making piñatas, right? I'm also trying to finish The Calder, which has become a much bigger project than I thought because of the balance issues and then the wire I was using wasn't strong enough. So now I finally got something strong enough. So I'm gonna need to um, just spend some time on that today, which means less time on the mural. I'm worried about the time, but it's gonna get done no matter what. Uh, we have a whole crew of people helping here because the museum opens on Saturday. That means we have two and a half days to work on this. Yep. And so, uh, yeah, all hands on deck. We hung the calder this morning. I think that's, the calder took me a lot more time to make than I thought. Who knew? Uh, today we are about halfway done with it. Probably over halfway done. Um, so yeah, we're just, Kind of just uh, gluing away here. After doing about 12 of these installations, I'm not worried, I'm not panicked, I'm confident that this crew will get this done in no time. Sometimes, the later we go, the, the more tired our eyes are, so some colors get switched around, but, you know, all these colors are so beautiful, it doesn't matter at this point. Just kidding. I think Casimiro Castro would think this is insane. He'd be like, what are you doing? I just went to Mexico recently, and the idea of America in the United States is so US-centric that we don't realize a lot of times that America, the word, means all of America, North, Central, and South America. Um, so to have a Mexican artist on display, I think is a real a statement uh, about, you know, institutional inclusion and you know, just acknowledging our history here in Texas. My body's trying to quit me, but I can't quit it. <laughs> okay, final piece. Boom, done. Wow. I'm gonna go over there now and, and do that with the lift, yeah.
Are you alive? Oh my God. I'm a ghost right now. I'm a ghost. Yay! We did it! Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You're the best. Thanks, Ray. You're awesome. Michaela, my guardian angel. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Maggie. Well. Group hug. <laughs> we did it. Good job, you guys. Wow. I adore you. I don't want you to go. Like, a lot of people find my work too easy or too, but, but I don't think, I think the opposite. I think, I think work should be accessible. It should be for everyone. And so what, what's the point of making art for the art world? You know, it's like if you're making art for the same people over and over again, is that really interesting? Who, you know, who's that for, you know? Para siempre, siempre. It's really gratifying to see people looking at my work and taking selfies in front of it. Um, just to see people smiling when they walk into a museum or laughing even, or wanting to touch the piece because they don't understand what it is. Because usually, you know, people are used to seeing oil paintings or metal sculptures. I think it has a special meaning to me because now at this museum, the Eamon Carter Museum of American Art, there's three Mexican artists on display. Gabriel Da, Casimiro Castro, and myself, which I think is really cool, really powerful. I mean, I, I am just uh, really thankful and really grateful for the community here in Fort Worth and Dallas, really. A lot of my friends came over, a lot of the staff members, museum members just they saw that I needed help and they just showed up. Like I didn't even ask for help like that, but they, it, it just all came together. Really grateful for this experience. Mm -hmm.